But when we're talking about uh, what to do, as well as beavers, clearly more reservoirs might be an idea. The problem with that is the planning permission that would be needed and the time it would take to actually get it into <clears> the system. Yeah, with the Independent Business Network, which I chair, family businesses have just produced a report on planning. You know, planning is the biggest blocker of everything in the UK. Mm -hmm. It's a lawn to itself, and it, its its principal objective is to prevent development. We've had an increase in population since 1976 of 10 million people in this country, yeah. mainly from migration. They need roads, they need rail, they need electricity, they need schools. gas, schools, yeah. mm. hospitals and water. Mm. You know, all these things are interlinked. We, can't, we have to actually yeah. have some sort of strategic planning yeah. for water. So, I mean, we, we still get the rain. It, you know, we are we're the most rainfall of every, every uh, European country at the moment. So it's actually capturing it and keeping it. Precisely, yes. But, it's, and, but more than just water, uh, as John was saying, you know, all the other elements, we, we seem unable to actually coordinate the planning. Yeah. We know what's going to be happening. We know that there's going to be uh, an no, increase in population. We have an idea about how the towns and cities are going to change. We should be designing the infrastructure to go with it. So what about, you know, the French approach on these things is... is Compulsory purchase when they, they did yeah. their high speed rail line. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. bought the land, there was no argument, and got on with it. But I mean, they compensate people. And what's interesting about the way the right. French do things, this is not necessarily allowed within the public uh, procedures of the UK, is that they give people one and a quarter times the value of the house. So people naturally say, oh, I'll have that. Yeah. You know, it's a bit like the fracking debate. If you give free energy to people who might have three days worth of the equivalent of a bus driving past your house shaking the property, mm. suddenly they'll be very interested in having it because it's actually worth it to them. Yeah, I, but I do remember going back to the 60s when they were building some reservoirs. Obviously, the other aspect is when you flood valleys and, and communities suddenly disappear, thinking of Wales for the uh, reservoir for Birmingham, for instance, mm. you know, people quite rightly are up in arms. So it's... Mm. Very difficult to balance that in our green it, and pleasant yeah, land. That's always happened. I mean, my sort of ancestral home, if you like, is under a reservoir in Lancashire. Really? From 1888. So. Wow. <laughs> there we are. Victorian <laughs> engineering. Oh, Victorian same engineering. With, same with Kielder. I think we managed to get the wrong part of the valley when they were building that one. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's going all around the place. And, of course, there was that lovely, I think it turned into a comedy show on Radio 4, but of actually uh, men from the ministry managed to get oh, the wrong gosh. valley in Scotland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it actually you're going happened. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're Richard forget... Murdoch. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget in 76, the other thing that we were told is we had to share a bar. That's it. Yep. So this well, is yeah, Dennis Howell's actually that's... revealed that he shared a bath with his wife, uh, but he wasn't going to go as far as the rain dance, which James Callaghan <laughs> asked him to do.